have an exciting update and an easy hack to solve the dilemma of that detrimental effect of adding bananas into smoothies. Previously, we discovered why Dr. Greger no longer recommends putting bananas in smoothies due to something called polyphenol oxidase. If you missed that video, you can click the link above. But so many people commented under that video that if they can't put bananas in their green smoothies, they don't think they'd be able to drink them. And I'm kind of in that camp too. And in fact, it wasn't just smoothies that were the problem. We heard, for example, how mixing bananas and blueberries in oatmeal was also not recommended, as the presence of bananas greatly decreased the amount of those all-important polyphenols from the blueberries getting into your bloodstream. There was understandably, therefore, much discussion over whether cooking the banana first deactivates this polyphenol oxidase, which it does appear to do, with a suggestion that it needs to be heated to 190 degrees Fahrenheit. But I don't know about you, but the thought of cooked banana doesn't sound very appetising. But in a recent update, Dr. Greger shared a really easy hack and something he's just started doing so that he can have bananas back again in his smoothie. So let's hear now from Dr. Michael Greger of NutritionFacts.org. Regarding my latest videos about bananas and smoothies, can I talk about whether freeze-dried bananas are okay? Absolutely they're okay. In fact, I just ordered some. I have been missing banana flavor. Not for smoothies. Smoothies are more kind of my summertime breakfast for me. As it gets chillier, I move over to my uh, oat groats, chocolate-covered cherry, kind of berry mix, pumpkin seed, oat groat, blah, blah, blah. Um, and miss the banana flavor. Um, and so I got freeze-dried bananas. Uh, so now these are not dried bananas because usually they're dried and sweetened. Um, no, these are just freeze-dried bananas, one ingredient. Um, found a cheap source and it's delicious and right. You don't have to worry about the enzyme because freeze-drying process stops the enzyme. You can see that they're now brown. Um, and so you can get all the banana flavor you want. Presumably you can blend them in the for smoothies. You do whatever you want to do with them. So you get all the bananas you want without the polyphenol oxidase. Next, we'll learn one really important effect bananas have on our gut. 